so um i mean I, I i obviously didn't get everything done that i that i that we had talked about but but i got i got some of it done i guess yeah no no you you got really far along like 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 very far um i actually didn't realize when i i dropped the file in that i didn't have the um original right next to it oh. so as i speak to you right now i'm panning through my photos on my phone to uh to try to get the original photo back. I can email you it very quickly if you if you want. Well, I, I'm actually having, I, I don't know what was going on with uh, Google this morning, but it was extremely slow, slow, like it was cycling for like 10 minutes to open a single email. Oh, okay, okay. Which is bizarre. Um, so let me see here. Got it, cool. Okay. And so it should be through in just a moment. Sure. Great. Yep. Okay. So now I can pop it in. And I'll drop it right here. Change the canvas size. And there we go. All right. Great. All right. And I'll make it just a little bit bigger. All right, cool. Um, all right, so I'll let you talk about it for a little bit to hear your thoughts. Okay, well, um, uh, I, um, I changed the shape of the bottle as we discussed, and I think that, that uh, Helped a lot. I mean, I really like that. Uh, yep. Your suggestion was great. Um, <laughs> the shape of the bottle, I, I, I can't, I, I keep looking at it and it's, it's not quite symmetrical, but I can't, I can't tell exactly what's, what the problem is. Uh, <laughs> when I try to modify one side, then the other side doesn't look right and so forth. But it's, it's, it's pretty close, but not, uh, not, not perfect. Um, and then of course I, um, I, I enlarged the tomato like we talked about. Uh -huh. I put in the shadows, um, and, and the, on, on the, on the cutting board, although I did not, I did not do much as far as trying to, uh, you know, um, f feather them, in other words, make them, make them, uh, blend, um, and I didn't do anything on the on the on the uh, the spoon. The the box I I the, the, the pasta box I I did the um, the various you know tr trying to show the, the how the lights hitting the different sides as we discussed. Um, I was I was frustrated trying to put those yellow edges in because I still can't draw a a decent thin line i mean I, I i try to use a straight edge there so i would get it straight but yeah that's hard that's that's really hard yeah yeah, yeah. so um and i changed the i changed the 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 bottle on the right the sicilian uh bottle i put that bigger you know you suggested putting a bigger cap on it and uh and and emphasizing the the change in shape. So, so I, I think that looks, I think that that looks reasonable. I, I don't know about the, the, yeah, the way I totally. did the cap, but, but anyway, we can talk about that. So, and, and the, the can itself, I, I, I enlarged it somewhat, but I didn't, I didn't really work on that very much as far as, uh, you know, developing the reflections and the shading. And I think one one thing I realize I have to do is on on all these objects is to do the shading better so that you that you that you get that feeling of how it turns. In other words, it's bright on the right and then gradually gets into the shadow on the on, yes. the, on the left. I mean, that's definitely something I have to do. Yeah. Um. I mean. Uh. Actually, I I don't want to cut you off. Uh. Was that it? 
Yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, like, uh, my thoughts on it, um, there are there are definite like classes where it's like, hey, course correction, this is going in the wrong direction, and uh, this and that. Like, you're just that's not where you are. Like, you're it, it literally just needs. Um, like I have a few little thoughts as far as like shapes. Okay. But um, I I kind of feel like we have like a, a short little class here in that um, it's just almost a thing of carry on. Um, your shapes look great. Um, you said that the the wine bottle was bothering your eye in terms of uh, being symmetrical. Um, yeah, a little bit, yeah. Like I, just to be perfectly honest, Absolutely, it, please. <laughs> it, it, it looks perfect. Um, I, I can't even see any any problems whatsoever in the the shape of it. It looks oh, perfect. Okay. Well, you know, um, that, that, that's interesting because maybe I'm just looking at it for too long. And I, I can't, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah that's Something you can do is you can just put it on your easel like that. Okay. And, yeah. um, I look at it like that, and it's perfect. I mean, literally. Don't don't need to touch the thing. So um, all right. If I have any thoughts, I'll, I'll give you a couple of shape thoughts. Okay. Um, so I think that uh, when you look at the perspective of uh, the olive oil dispenser, um, let yeah. me draw on it with color. Yeah, I think the probably the top opening is too is too. Yeah. It's a little too, too yeah. like um, we're looking down at it too much, right, right. where it's it's more in perspective like yeah. that. Yeah. Um, so I think that's just going to come down a little bit. Right. Um, as far as the cap is concerned, it's a little bit above, like the horizon line for our eye is up here. So that means everything below uh -huh. it we're looking down at a little bit. So we still yeah. can see a little bit of the top of that. Well, and then be, we can yeah. see. Yeah. Okay. Let me actually change the color for that cat. Yeah. We can see a little bit of the top of that right there. Mm -hmm. But um, mm -hmm. I, so the other, so those are just uh, shape ideas. Those are the only corrections in that, like, you know, it needs to like head this way to be correct. Um, so the other thought that I would have is there's this whole idea and uh, my friend Leo Mancini uh, coined the phrase, um, so perfectly. I actually don't know if he's the one who made up this phrase, but where you have uh, two lines meet each other perfectly, uh, he, oh. I never knew the word for it, but it, like it, it can bother your eye. And he called it um, an unfortunate tangent. And so like, yeah, I've heard that expression. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So like this, this line right yeah. here. Okay. Is perfectly meeting. Yes. Um, yes. This line right here is perfectly uh -huh. meeting this line. Um, so what I would do is I would probably bump that out a little bit. Um, well, let, let's just say this first. You can remove it. Yeah. And then um, after you remove it, then you'll know what to do with it. So let okay. me let me bump this out. Uh, mm. Just like that. And then I'll put it back in. So you could put it in right here. If you oh, want, okay. because then maybe that's even a little too close to the side. So maybe let's say like right here, yeah. you can put it in there. Um, maybe that, again, I, well, I want to steer clear uh, from there. So just try my best. So I don't know, maybe there or alternately, maybe it could go like right yeah, here. Yeah. Um, that's a possibility. Uh -huh. uh, and then, and then it's not competing with either one of these sides right here. Right. Um, so that's a thought. And then we have another unfortunate tangent uh, right here, where the corner of the box is meeting the side of the bottle perfectly. Oh, right. I, yes. Okay. So what I would say to that uh -huh. is I would probably bump this down just a hair, um, okay. or alternately, you could bump it out. Uh, in just a hair. Okay. I, I think I would. I think I would go in actually. Okay. And go like a little further along with it. Yeah. Um, and then you're you don't have those two areas meeting perfectly, right. and it feels 
somehow it's hard to put into words like why does that feel better and if you were like to ask me like okay rationally explain to me why this works better i don't know the answer it's just our eye needs to see the Mm. clear distinction um so those are literally the only shape um observations i have and then um if you think of like what silver is um silver is um just stripes and so now you're ready to get going with like putting in you know like the, the striations yes yes so like but this isn't like hey you got this wrong um it literally is just like okay here's the next thing to do okay and just going in and getting in those stripes and that will suddenly turn this to silver it's just that simple so okay and, um, and, and tell me tell me if this is coming across as simple um and suddenly you'll see it turn into silver you know what i mean mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um and obviously it needs a whole lot more finesse than i'm giving it but I'm just trying to show you how no, no, it's nothing, yeah. Yeah. nothing more than just stripes. Stripes, okay. And and, this, and those stripes are dark and light stripes, not necess not necessarily those. We just you're still keeping some of the gray stripes though as well. Is that right? Yeah. Yep. So okay. some of the gray stripes and silver. Um, a few things like participate greatly in the room around it. Like everything participates in the room around it. Um, but silver in particular, a white cloth, um, you can really see that the color of silver is largely the color of everything around the silver. Yes. You know what I mean? So um, you'll, you'll be able to like, kind of like, just look at, okay, I can see the green bottle, you know, reflecting like the olive mm -hmm. oil. Mm -hmm. um, and then, I mean, that principle kind of applies. It's great painting silver because... Um, it teaches you that painting is is almost like mosaic work where it's like little bits i regard it as being almost like colored glass um where it's like like a piece here a piece there and then you see the things start to pull together mm -hmm. kind of like that and i'm not blending any of this but already i feel the uh, sicilian bottle pulling together mm -hmm. So you 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 yeah you 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 change you you blend you're blending the 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 liquid in the Sicilian bottle to make it. Yeah, well, I'm actually in, in a way you could say I'm not blending it. I'm just putting down pieces of paint. Yeah. Like um, like putting down an idea. Like um, like put down that dark piece. Right. Put down that midtone piece. Put down that dark piece. Yeah. Put down that light piece. Okay. And then they all start to pull together into, yeah. you know, into the other thing. Mm -hmm. So um, that's my thought on the the silver. And, but it's going to carry over to everything. Like, for instance, there's this like gray streak running the right side of that bottle. Mm -hmm. And um, all you simply need to do is we go in a little bit lighter. All you need to do is kind of go in like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And you'll see, there you go. Huh. Yes. And now you see like the shape there. You know what I mean? Yep. Um, yep. I'm trying to get a little bit better for you. A little bit lighter. And then you can see how it's like starting to turn now. Yeah. yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Then I might bring in, there is no light behind the uh, body of the oil canister, but I might bring in a little bit of light um, just so we can see the handle silhouetted a mm -hmm. little bit right there. And, you know, you can make it into a gradient, but just kind of like that where, you know what, I'll do it with the background color that you have. Um, here we go. Uh, okay. 
Okay. A little bit more like that. Yeah, so the, the handle sticks, stands out a little bit more. Yeah. And it, it, it only needs to be like half of it. It doesn't have to be like the whole thing. Okay. Um, but like, so some lessons that you and I have had together, you know, it, it's like, th there's a lot to cover. There's like a, a massive amount of uh, just kind of thought theory behind it. Um, this just isn't one of those classes where you're on a really good path and literally all you have to do is just like carry on and okay. affect, okay. affect these changes. Um, and a little bit of light on the spoon right here. But um, like, again, like sometimes okay. I'll look at something and I'll be like, okay, there's a lot wrong here and we have to like do a major course correction. Um, then there's the opposite scenario. It's like, oh, there's some like finessing here and there um, and that's all. And that's really where we are. It's like, I just put that light on the spoon right there. Um, mm -hmm. But I feel like these are things you would do um, anyway. I'm just putting a little bit of dark on the tomato on this side right here. Um, and with that, I mean, you're, you're pretty good. Um, okay. I mean, obviously if you have questions, like, please ask me, but, um, I don't, I don't think like I, maybe I'd carry the shadow through to the end almost. Uh huh. Um, okay. and then the, this shadow over here, um, you can like allude to a bottle. Okay. <clears throat> I think what you're saying, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but you don't even have to go too specific. You could like, just leave it like that. Mm -hmm. And somebody could be like, which bottle is it? And you could say, none of your business. Um, <laughs> um, you, you don't have to be that literal. Okay. Um, but I, I kind of think for me to say more um, is useless because with all those changes, you're going to see even like the next steps beyond it. Um, so I think that's pretty much it. Um, okay. Um, oh, w one other thing, um, the yellow. Yeah, I was um, going to ask you about if you got any 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 uh, advice on how how to how to do a better job of that. Yeah, w what I would say with that is the the chroma of the yellow um, will will most likely. I'm just going to go with black just to darken it, so it's not <clears throat> a color issue. Mm -hmm. um, but as as color goes into shadow. Um, the saturation levels oftentimes will drop. Yeah. Like, yes. and, and I don't want to say like a hundred percent of the time because you know, there can be some resonant color in shadows, but like, see how I just darkened. Absolutely. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I, I realized that that was, yeah, I, that I, I, I sort of noticed that myself that, that the yellows, the, 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 definitely the intensity of that would change as it, as it comes in and out of shadow. Like on the photograph, you can see the difference between the top edge and the the bottom edge, right? And you, yeah, how, yeah, how, exactly. How, how, how different that is, yeah. But yeah, you, and it's you sorry. Any, what do you have any advice for how to how to draw those? Um, I mean, I I I actually got some uh, very tiny brushes. I don't know how good quality they are, but they're supposed to be like for oil and watercolor for doing really small things. But then you really don't get um you know if you can see from my lines they're they're not really um uh very even i mean the cult the, the paint just kind of yeah i mean my, my thought is that you're doing fine um the, the the funny thing about um working on a straight line is if you get a ruler and you get it like too hand drawn perfect um it looks unpainterly and I, I almost prefer to see a little bit of a quiver and okay. a line. Um, you know, like it's a balance, like don't underdo it. Don't overdo it. Do it just right. Like, um, and as I, as I look at that, I actually like, I actually like the way that looks. Okay. And so I would just say you can reinforce it, but like as far as tricks, your trick of using the ruler is good. Um, another trick that you can do is you can use a ruler and then you can grab like a exacto knife and 
you, you know, obviously you push too hard, you're going to go right through the canvas, but you can just use the exacto knife and run along the ruler and you just like run back and forth and it scratches in the line that you want to see. Mm -hmm. And then you can kind of like glaze paint on top of that. So like, oh. that's a trick that I have huh. is I, I'll scratch that away. Yeah. And then I'll glaze into it. And the, the, the bright line comes from the scratching. Oh, which is, so it's, it's a little trick. Um, you could try it out and see how it goes. Yeah, thanks, thanks. You know, I, 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 I ha actually, I have to confess that um, I find myself doing some of this small detail stuff on a, by putting the canvas on a tabletop rather than on the easel. <laughs> oh, of, oh, of course. Yeah, no, that, that's, so uh, I'm right now, I'm painting a portrait of my uh, father. And when I need to get like a certain area, I'll pop it right off of the easel. Okay. And I'll like lean, lean it up against a chair or something like that. Um, I'll, I'll do that when it gets down to precise areas. Um, okay. It's my, my whole thing is whatever it takes. Whatever it um, takes. Yeah, that's what I figured. So, yeah, like if you if you're working and you can't get like you know the precise detail like through different areas, just make a note of it and then put it down on the tabletop, and then you can like really like carve out. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so by all means, yeah. And I, I do that, um, I actually uh, just did this, uh, it was kind of cool. I did this plein air painting, I, po I popped it up on a, a Islip uh, Facebook page where it's like a few thousand members, everyone's in Islip. And um, when I put the painting up, uh, there was a video of me working on it uh, down at Islip Beach, the road leading to it. Um, it had 3.5 thousand views, which is crazy. Wow. Um, but the, somebody wanted to buy it. And so then I gave them the price. They said, sounds good. So the thing that nobody could see in the Facebook video is that I put in all of the, um, you know what I can, I can just show you a picture of it. Um, I put in all of the lines, uh, very, very vague. So people couldn't see it, but I had suggested lines for so they couldn't get that close but look at the telephone wires there um yeah uh, it's uh, just uh. it's just a mess like but <laughs> it didn't matter to me because i was painting on site and mm. i couldn't get really precise obviously because like um i'm out there and i didn't have the right angle so um then i took it back to the studio and popped it up and then this isn't even finished but now look at the lines okay, okay. much further along yeah so I, I went in and i i painted them literally at like a tabletop and okay. got them really precise so like obviously not everything needs detail but um like this painting this painting needed the detail and it wasn't gonna work without it so i just you know i i did it i, I just i just popped it in and and did that so um that's that's my advice to you is literally just um do whatever whatever works do whatever works yeah okay. um and then uh the thought also with the uh with the wood um as it as it stays in the light um so you're all good here as it as it turns into shadow you're going to want it to go a little bit darker for a moment mm-hmm just like that um, so that's going to really increase the sense of light and shadow. Okay. Okay. So. See what I mean? Yes. And, and I'm doing it absurdly abruptly. Like don't don't yeah. go as abrupt as, as I just went right, right there. Right. But um, like you, you you'll know it when you see it. It's just going to be a little bit a little bit darker. I'm going to even lighten that because it's so it's so abrupt that it's bothering my eye. <laughs> So, um, that's literally everything I see, unless you have any more questions. Uh, no, not, wait, 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 one final question. What do you think about the top of that oil bottle? Is that, do you think that's a, um, that, that shape with a little rim? Is that, does that make? This one? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so like the, I think the, the only thing I see is when the sh when the shape of this 
um, comes down. So let's uh, let me just change the shape here. So as it comes further down, I like how it's kind of a big top hat. Mm -hmm. um, but you're going to see like the shape of it kind of go like this. Uh, yes. yes, good point. Okay, okay. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, that'll make it look a lot better, yep. Yeah, so um, I'm not doing such a great job freehand on the screen here. No, that's fine. I like, understand what you're saying, yeah. Kind of like that. Yep. Um, and then once this thing goes in, wh whatever this little funnel spout yeah, is, right, right. Um, yeah, yeah. that'll look nice. In fact, you can use that as a step up and you can lie about the angle. And instead of going this way with the spout, um, you can go this way so that your eye carries up it in the direction of the peak. Oh, neat. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, uh, yeah, like, um, I literally, I'm looking at this, you're, you're simply put, you're just, you're on the right path. Okay. Um, yeah. and I, I really, I'm a really big advocate of, uh, of not over teaching, but there's, there's two reasons why I believe in not over teaching. Like, uh, the first one is like, it's redundant. Um, and it's just like the student, if the student would get to it anyway, like it's redundant. Um, so that's obvious. But the second reason is um, when people overtaught me, um, it kind of like, it can take away a little bit of self-confidence that's a healthy self-confidence where the student will falsely develop like a sense of dependency on a teacher mm. where they're like, for the magic to happen, they need to have their teacher there. And um, when it's, what I've noticed through the years is when I, under, when I strike it just right, and I don't over teach the student gets to the place where they're like, well, I don't really need Kevin in the room and I don't really need his input to do this and that. And that is the whole goal of drawing and painting. Um, and I think that's, a, that's a good teacher that, uh, I heard that it described one says, uh, the greatest teacher renders, uh, him or herself unnecessary. <laughs> like, that's, that's it. Like, that's what you want from your students. So like, uh, obviously, you know, we'll keep working f forever as um as you're growing here um as you see fit but it's great for you to say like hey i nailed that and kevin didn't have to tell me this with the shadows or that with it. you know what i mean um so <laughs> okay no thanks that, that, that makes sense all right no, i i i think i i see plenty of work i i, I know what to do on the painting still so that, that's yep. great so let, well, i'm glad to get your 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 um, input on on how to proceed so that's, cool. that's perfect all right Kevin. thanks all right great john so um i'll hit stop recording here